a duvet here for another rambling of a chess coach. Got a few ideas, so I document it. Uh, I've been playing a whole bunch of uh, internet chess. I got uh, some pretty good results. I got my speed and bullet rating to master and my crazy house rating into expert. And uh, I was joking on uh, LI chess with this guy, uh, Cat Poacher, or whatever people give these crazy names they call himself. And he was, uh, you know, I, I was saying the ego trap, you know, because this guy was all excited. He beat me, and I was like, like, big deal, you beat me. I mean, like, whatever, it's just a kid's game. Uh, but I play a lot of it, and you, you play to win. It's good to win. It's good to play. And uh, I was joking. I called it the ego trap, and it was like a, like a movie, like how I wasted a year of my life trying to be the best at the uh, chess variant. you like, crazy house. Okay, like, chess... There's no way I'm going to be the best at chess. Like, I'm a good enough coach. Um, I was a junior champion. People who know chess ratings, I'm like a 2,000 rated player. I'm good enough to, uh, you know, teach the basics, coach kids, kids that take it seriously. Um, I could help them even get into, to be better than me. But, you know, getting kids to, like, you know, uh, competitive le levels, you know, the rating system. Um, you know, I got that down. You know, so it's largely a volunteer activity. And the kids who go on, like, like James Canney, um, you know, now he's much better than me. You know, there's a lot of kids that went on and uh, took lessons. Sharice Woods here, she's almost better than me already. Um, some of our better students, uh, you will go on, there'll be resources available. But I was thinking, like, you know, the ego trap versus uh, of trying to win, trying to be the best, trying to feed a person's ego through... Uh, being good at chess versus just the mental exercise of trying to be good at the game. So I mentioned that to a lot of the kids who uh, go on through the game, you know, like start getting competitive and they want to, you know, they want to win. They want to uh, uh, win these championships. It feels good to feed a person's ego, to have results and uh, have victory. So uh, once you start winning, you know, you want to win more. It becomes addictive. And it's like, uh, you know, I call it the ego trap, where uh, there's two things. One thing for the actual process of becoming a better chess player, you're usually better off um, just loving the game, trying to understand the pattern. So if your purpose of studying and working hard is in order to, you know, to win so you could feed your ego, it's usually actually not as uh, productive as... Uh, um, actually just really enjoying the game, really trying to be a better player. And, okay, welcome, high T. So, yeah, I mean, if you really just love the game, you want to be a strong player and uh, love figuring out the patterns, you keep on getting better, you keep on studying, you keep on recognizing the patterns. So I largely, you know, plateaued at my chest because uh, I didn't want to keep on studying. Um... Yeah, hi, T. Yeah, I'm kind of just rambling. If people enjoy my ramble, my pontification, that's great. But I'm more just documenting some of my own thoughts and ideas for myself. So if anyone tunes in or wants to put a comment in the chat, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, I'm more just documenting my own ramble. And, you know, some people will watch this uh, later, not live, but I'm posting it live. So, uh, you know, so you have that level of really wanting to understand these patterns and to uh, just love of the game, love of the patterns, which it gets better. So um, Crazy House, I really fell in love with this game. It's similar to Bug House. And uh, you know, one board and I started playing it and on the internet. And I started winning these tournaments and it feeds my ego. Um, but it was largely just a fascination for how these patterns work, um, what the best moves are, figuring it out, and then Ally Chess had all these, uh, you know, computer analysis. I'm looking at my openings and I'm studying the games after the game's finished. And these are the common practice, like, that any coach, any player knows what it takes to be good. You gotta, you know, go over your games after. These days you need computer analysis to uh, go over your games. And uh, you gotta study the openings and you look at, look, find out the patterns and techniques and Crazy House was interesting enough to me 
that uh, I was doing that. I was you know, going over my games, computer analysis. I was looking at some of the openings. And uh, that's something I hadn't been interested enough to do with chess because it's, you know, it's largely the ego trap. So when we coach here, um, you know, we're proud to have state champions, nationally competitive, internationally competitive juniors. Uh, but we do it largely you know, as a mental exercise, as uh, karma, teaching people the rules of life and how to uh, be a better person, sportsmanship. Uh, action reaction thinking from the other person's perspective and all these things and at the same time you know, okay like yeah people are proud to have champs like the uh, Iranian uh, junior champion said um, you know, he needs new hater because all those old haters became his fans and uh, the Chinese junior champion said uh, nothing breeds confidence like victory and uh, you know said confidence breeds confidence um, so the fact that you know, it's good to be good at something, it's good to, uh, and you know, chess is like ping pong or something, like pool. You know, people have ping pong tables or pools in their basement, and uh, you know, they could beat a few people and their family on their block. They think they're pretty good, but uh, you know, if you go to a competitive ping pong tournament, there's people that are substantially, uh, extremely good. And chess is like that also. It's like you could play chess with your family, your parents, your uh, dad. Yeah, go ahead, open everyone. Yeah, go ahead. So, uh, you know, you could uh, you know, say, okay, you play chess with your family, with your kids, with your block, with your school, and it's like, okay, like I'm getting really good results, I'm doing good. And uh, then you go to a tournament and like you get whacked, you lose. So people here, like we got state champions, we could have really smart kids here come. And we put them against our top players and they're... Uh, um, you know, they're going to lose because that's because uh, they've studied the game. They know the patterns better. So when it comes down to the pattern recognition, they're just not going to be uh, as astute of the people. And there, I mean, certainly there's a certain a level of possibly natural ability, intelligence, uh, nature, nurture. I've talked about in the past the boundary conditions on free will, but it's largely just the effort of recognizing the pattern. So Crazy House. Um, I enjoyed it. Like, I found the game. It was enjoyable. We had Coach Fight isn't a big fan of Bug House. Um, the better players like Bug House, but, uh, you know, Bug House could make the kids a little uh, hyperactive or, you know, start talking really loudly or not behaving in a way that's uh, appropriate for the chess club. So I encourage Bug House, but Coach Fight is a little more skeptical. Though occasionally we've had Bug House tournaments and Certainly all the top players, even the medium players, play Bug House here. But so I've, I've played Bug House with quite a few of the kids here. I occasionally play with them or one of the other coaches. Uh, when I first started coming years ago, we played Bug House like every week, and we play for hours. But, uh, so you say, oh, I'm winning all these tournaments on chess.com. I, I'm looking like I have over, I have close to 150 trophies from chess.com, you know, I got placed in the top three of uh, over 150 tournaments on chess.com, like 75 of them got first, and, uh, you know, the Arena Kings, I'm doing very good, and then I go on Ally Chess, and uh, there's stronger players, a player that could beat me basically every single game, and uh, and then I'm looking, like, some of these guys have played 20,000 games of this, so this guy was joking about the ego trap, you know, how I wasted a year of my life trying to become the best at the chess variant. That's what he said. He basically spent like hours every day for a year and played 25,000 games of Crazy House. So like as an adult, saying, okay, is that really how I want to spend my time? Time is ticking. I got a lot to do. I really just want to keep my mind sharp and, uh, you know, a way to relax um, and have strong mental activity. It doesn't really matter whether I win or lose. Like it's fun to win. It could feed my ego a little bit. It could prove, oh, do it smart, you know, because I win at chess. But, uh, you know, really it's just a mental activity. And this, you know, thank God I'm good at chess. I'm able to coach these kids. And uh, I could get kids up to 1,800, you know. So if a kid listens to me, takes me seriously, even if they're only average intelligence. You know, certainly there's a lot of kids who are quite intelligent. But even if a kid's only average intelligence, but if they do the drills... They study, they go after the games. Uh, 
you know, maybe they, these days computer analysis, watch the videos online, um, they could get to 1,500. And uh, in Michigan, like a, a team of uh, kids at 1,500, that's state championship level to have a whole team. And thank God we got you know, kids uh, 1,800, 1,900 um, that take the game seriously, that they enjoy studying the patterns and uh, you know, love of the game. I spend uh, every week just teaching the basics, how to move the pieces, mating with the king and queen, and I enjoy doing it. I think about thinking and cognitive processes and child development, and it's a good way to uh, give back to the community, have a positive influence. So I'm gonna keep on doing it. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd ramble because I had my Jewish holidays, and I spent a lot of time playing chess over it. And I proved my own game a tiny bit, um, but you know, time is limited. I'm not a really competitive chess player. Um, I'm just a volunteer chess coach, expert. Even, I don't even need to be expert, but like expert strength is more than enough to be a junior chess coach. And uh, a lot of it's more pedagogy and child psychology. That even the, you know, coach fight is uh, only 1500. But it, you know, like so, it's more pedagogy, child psychology in Michigan. Like Dr. Ed Mandel, you know, the the best chess coaches. Yeah, man, you dropped a pawn. I mean, you dropped a pawn. So, uh, okay, so that's about it. So thanks for tuning in. Let me see if there's any questions in the chat or anything. So, uh, yeah, not much in the chat. I just wanted to ramble a few thoughts, get it out there, and I'm going to watch it back uh, later just to uh, keep my thoughts advancing and, uh, you know, document some of my activities, encourage people to take a more philosophical uh, view towards the game of chess and uh, you know what I mentioned about universal brotherhood of man uh, universal human characteristics versus individual characteristics or group selection strategy um, you know chess is a very good example of it I play like I'm a volunteer coach here so there's not really competitive games here I play online um, you can look me up on LI Chess or uh, chess.com, um, but there's not really competitive play here. Like, uh, so this is just a volunteer activity. Um, I don't really record myself, but yeah, I spend like an hour or two uh, each week, usually just teaching the very basics. And then I'll walk around, I'll set the pieces up and uh, answer questions or pair people up. I'm about to set that board up and uh, get things prepared. So I guess that's all for this week. I just wanted to document this kind of like the ego trap and uh, you know this ego trap versus uh, understanding doesn't just apply to chess it applies to all areas of academic research like uh, Talmudic studies um, something also into like you know like I want to be famous rabbi I want to be a recognized scholar versus uh, someone who really just wants to understand these things for its own sake you know like Torah Lishma studying uh, divine wisdom for its own sake. And uh, so chess is a really good example where you have, uh, you know, I really just like understanding patterns, using my mind, be able to make clear, complicated calculation, and you know, maybe produce some beautiful combinations. Um, but then you have the ego trap of winning. And then, you know, there's always someone better than you, or even if uh, temporarily you could be the best. You know, like I was watching the crazy horse, uh, crazy house, uh, world championship. So you had Jan Lee in Australia, who was like the world champion for like a decade, you know, unbeatable. No one could even get close. And now there's a new player that's better than them. And, uh, you know, Habib, uh, the UFC fighter mentioned, there's always someone coming. Like you, you can only be the best temporarily, even if you make it to the top, you know, there's especially a game like chess where 20% of the world plays chess. And just, you know, one guy to study a little bit harder than you, to uh, think a little bit more clearly than you. So uh, I wanted to warn myself and other of my viewers against the ego trap and just, uh, you know, the spirit of intellectual discovery, of trying to uh, get to the truth, being interested in the truth, being interested in using your head and uh, being intelligent, exhibiting intelligence versus... Uh, the ego trap 
So uh, Shabbat Shalom is going to end the stream. Um, I'll probably, your know, Church of Entropy, probably Sunday we should do our week in review. And uh, I'm going to have, uh, I, I still practice that. I want to do Parsha's Noah. We're reading the Noah, and I did my uh, stream, Ask the Rabbi, last Saturday night. And I have uh, a lot of work on this, like the origins of the Noah Hyde laws. But so hopefully that's going to come out sometime this week. But it's really been a lot of research, and uh, I want to get it down right. And maybe I'll even watch over some of my previous Ask the Rabbis to see what you know the like a graduate type seminar. And all of these are going to be overlapping, like uh, these theories of when were these ideas introduced? What came from the Greeks and what came from the Romans and what came from uh, Egypt and various things. So it's proving to be quite a bit of research. So um, I want to get that right. But uh, yeah, daylight savings time's coming up. So uh, I'll probably be doing less chess coaching. School's back in season. Um, yeah, okay, Mark. Yeah, I don't know if it'd be an interesting stream for me to read through pamphlets. I did that one time with Zoo because I was mentioning the Chinese company. So I don't know if it'd be so interesting just for me to stream reading through engineering pamphlets. I got another show coming up in the uh, middle of November, uh, Amcon uh, Manufacturing Conference. Uh, so I'll probably stream that. And So we'll see. So God bless. I'm going to sign off, everybody. Shabbat shalom. And... Uh, Take care and let's avoid the ego trap and, uh, you know, try to really discover the truth uh, for its own sake and, you know, try to uh, benefit society. You know, say, God has been good to me and uh, I just want to do a service in return to society, in return to uh, God, like the Talmud, and, you know, the famous story, like, you know, the man planting trees who's very old and say, why are you planting these trees that they won't... Uh, bear fruit in your lifetime saying just like someone uh, decades ago planted these trees and now I'm eating their fruit so the same thing this is just a service to my creator to the community and you know it's an honor to do it it's an honor to see these kids grow and uh, some of them even move on and uh, become better than me and uh, I put a lot of time into playing chess but not enough to be a competitive chess player um, you know just to be a competitive junior chess coach and uh, I'm enjoying the Oki. Uh, you know, there should be the Crazy House World Championship. So I'm enjoying these patterns and uh, look forward to uh, the next you know, a year of activity. So God bless everyone.